Crashing cymbals resounded in the air and parade drums boom, boom, boomed. As his retinue of costume maenads and corpulent selenae encircled him, Tribale drew a salpinx from the thirsty with which they danced, and blasting the horn, he produced a piercing sound and announced, Friends, I send you out to gather those of our tribe, the gypsies, wayfarers, both bold and brave, the freaks and outcasts, searchers and seekers too, Go to the farthest bounds of the earth and call forth our band. The time has come for us to gather. We alone know what is possible with this troop. And so some went forth to gather the infamous brethren, as Tribale commanded, and he continued onward with the remainder of his retinue into the heart of Rome, frolicking along the Appia, releasing people from their homes with the sound of the cis boom bang, enticing them, seducing them, entrancing them, drawing one and all on and on as they crossed the Via Salizia and then the Porta Ardiatina until they reached Parco Scipioni and they circled round and round, the music intensifying with every snaking turn, a burst of drums, cymbals, bells and double flutes, all commingling into explosive crescendos and points of ecstatic rupture, as if sound itself were to burst. And it seemed as if they almost entirely suspended the rhythms of the music, extending time signatures to points of near collapse, till Tribale burst into guffaws, at which second the tempo of the music increased and a raging cacophony commenced, horns screeching, wailing, almost shouting, straining to points of collapse, echoing human cries, animal noises, and eerie distorted tones, like the sounds of planets spinning at high velocity all of which intensified even more when Tribale blew on two, then three horns simultaneously, sounding certain haunting notes that were signals for tempo changes, rhythmic shifts, the cacophony morphing back into more melodic and mellifluous lines.